Hi, it's Brad from Coastal Farm Machinery. As you can see, we're standing outside with the Demo Optum 300 with the AFS cab. This is eight points I like about the new AFS cab. So come on, let's have a look. Before we get onto the points, this is the cab that you'll see on the 260 and subsequently coming down all the way through until the 185. Stick around to the end of the video and hopefully we'll do a bit of a drive in this, but we do have a plow on as you see that there. So that also might not happen and I might cut this. So if you're watching this, I probably haven't cut it. So, you know, maybe if you, if you wanna skip to the end, but just watch the video. Let's start off at number one. Now this isn't inside the cab, this is outside on the back. As you can see, we have a new spool block. This is the Bosch spool block with automatic closing covers and levers. Much nicer, and it comes in line with a lot of other manufacturers. Number two is gonna be the new overall quality and clean design of the interior. Number three is the new armrest. As you can see, it's a lot more modular. The design is a lot more ergonomic. It puts the controls right at your fingertips and is great for an operator spending a lot of time on this machine. Number four, both the new Pro 1200 screen and its companion on the pillar. They are much higher quality. They have a better resolution, much clearer to the eye. They're way quicker than the previous screen would have been and gives you modularity that you wouldn't have previously had. Number five, the new cab is unbelievably quiet on the road. You truly can have a whisper silent conversation while you're doing 56K with no issues at all. 66 decibels. Number six, the new joysticks. Both the main joystick and the auxiliary joystick have had a, a massive change. As you can see, you get a lot more control. Number seven, mentioned before, the new modularity that you'd expect to see, not only on the joysticks, but now on the spools themselves. Behind the spools, you can see another set of number buttons, which can be all selected to do whatever you need. Number eight is the massive amount of storage this cab now has. Usable storage, just like this one under the instructor's seat. Come behind the instructor's seat, you'll see another little storage box which has two options for power, both a USB-A and a European style, and it might even be an American style plug set up as well. It's always nice to have a cup holder, and we have a pretty good one just behind the operator seat with plenty more cubby holes. We have the new baler bar, and up just above that, you have a couple of ram mounts on a rail, which can be all customized with power, so you can now get your monitors fitted nicely without having to play around too much and have a screen in the wrong place when you're operating, not only on the in the field, on the road. Now, if you got this far, let's cue the music and go take it for a drive.
If you like that video, do us a favour, subscribe, comment, or don't, but do. Do both. Do it. Mm -hmm.